issues. Greetings, Discrete Defenders. This is Dave from DDR. We are back out at the Discrete Defense Ranch today for a kind of a wrap-up video, a little bit of a follow-up video on these Fioki Defense Dynamics 38 Special 148 grain jacketed hollow point rounds. I had a viewer suggest testing them out of the 20 inch barrel and of course I got the Rossi 92. I didn't really catch on to what he was saying for about a minute and then I was like, ow, you mean like my 20 inch barrel? Okay, so <laughs> obviously I got to do that because that's really a cool idea. The other thing is uh, for a follow up uh, on the second video I did on these, I had somebody mention that they looked like a, a wide mouth bass or something, that, so they weren't that surprised to see expansion. And I realized when I took out the bullet that failed, that it's a lot different. There's the bullet that succeeded, well, one of the, one of the successful gel block shots. But the bullet that failed expansion did not completely fail. Let me show you that here. So there's the before and after shot on those Fiokis. It started to expand. Even the one that didn't expand, expanded. But anyway, uh, while I'm at it out here it, doing a chronograph test, I thought I'd throw in something for comparison. And I don't have any other 148 grain hollow points. But these are 158 grain hollow points. They're kind of old school, you know, the Remington HTP. They're, they're soft lead. They're, they're probably not recommended for uh, 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 the tube magazine of the lever gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed them into the chamber one by one and test them. But first, I'll test the Fiokis. And it's about 70 degrees today. Well, it was before the rain shower, but I've been keeping these warm and dry in my pocket because I'm sort of used to doing that for the winter. But speaking of warm and dry, I have not been keeping the Prochrono warm and dry. I actually left it out here after the last shoot. So as a testimonial, you can leave a pro chrono out in a snowy, rainy first two weeks of April in northern Minnesota and come back to it after the eclipse and wonder what the heck you did with it and then go back out to your ranch, which is only 80 acres. It's not much of a ranch, but there are live cows here during certain parts of the year. And your pro chrono will still turn on. <laughs> now, will it register? We're about to find out. Let me zoom in on the face of that here. All right, I think I'll just move. I'll, I'll move my uh, eleven hundred dollar smartphone a little bit closer into the line of fire here, just for you guys. All right. And then I'm going to get back 10 feet, because rifle, and try not to shoot my smartphone. Nine forty-six. So there we're getting close to what the box says they should be doing. And it's like shooting a, it's like shooting a BB gun. There is no recoil at all. 997. A thousand nine. Ah! Not bad. All right. I just usually do three through the Rossi. So there's the, uh, there's the Defense Dynamics by Fioki out of a 20 inch barrel. Next, I'm gonna test three of these. I'm gonna load them in one at a time straight into the chamber.
All right, 158 grain Remington HTP lead semi wad cutter hollow point. And yes, I've been keeping these warm as well. Might as well put them up there for reference. I'm not going to miss that badly. They're protected by the camera. That's terrifying. All right, but I'll just pop these in. Whoops. Drop them on the ground a little bit. A little bit of water test there. That's weird. Oh, well. 10 feet back. Eleven thirty-eight. See, those Fiokis could be loaded hotter. Now, technically, to be fair, these Remingtons are a plus P load, but eleven forty-four. Hundred and fifty-eight grains. Eleven thirty. Okay, you get the idea. Those Remington HDPs are absolutely. Oh, let me set them up like this. Absolutely destroying the Fiokis, even though they're ten grains heavier. They're going way faster out of the twenty-inch barrel. So there's your final verdict. On the defense dynamics, I guess what I would recommend is produce a plus P version. There's nothing really special about those Remington HTPs out of a snub nose. They don't get anywhere near the velocity of a Underwood or Buffalo bore, lead semi wide gutter hollow point. The Oki obviously has a superior design, a, a, a better engineered cartridge than just about anybody else. And I bet if they loaded it appropriately for a compact handgun, that you would see amazing consistent results. There's no reason that 148 grain jacketed hollow point needs to be going 800 feet per second out of a snub nose or 1,000 feet per second out of the Rossi 92. I bet if you loaded it even up to 900 feet per second, it would blow everything else out of the water all right thanks folks this is dave for ddr broadcasting from discreet defense ranch where it is just about turkey season have a great week all 12 no issues